As the Delta variant continues to spread, an alarming new study claims the virus is on track to build resistance to our current vaccines. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Lindsay Pena. The authors say it would take just four more mutations in the virus to make our existing shots ineffective. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on that study and why some local researchers are pushing back on the findings. Our vaccines still work against the Delta variant, but the virus is constantly trying to find ways around them. And a team of scientists in Japan just outlined what it would take for Delta to fully escape. They took the Delta variant and added four mutations to its spikes. Three of these are already common in other variants. Then, in lab experiments, they showed antibodies from the Pfizer vaccine could no longer stop this engineered virus. Their point was on boosters. The U.S. has stockpiled 100 million boosters using the original recipe of the mRNA vaccines. The Japanese team argues that if the virus keeps mutating this way, these original mRNA recipes may not be effective, and we should consider an updated recipe specific to Delta. It's an interesting study, but it's one has to rem remember it's very artificial, right? So it's a virus that they made that's not out there. Virologists at both UC San Francisco and UC San Diego told us this engineered virus might never emerge in nature. Sometimes a change in one part of the virus actually slows down another part. The virus, every time that it does make a mutation, um, Sometimes it means that those mutations just don't work very well in humans. So even though it might work well in the lab, doesn't necessarily mean that it works well in humans. They noted these new experiments only looked at antibodies from the vaccine, not other defenses like T cells that can help keep mild infections from getting severe. I think these experiments are useful, but we really need to take them with a grain of salt. And I, I don't think that um, these type of findings should ultimately um, scare the public. In the real world, some patients with Delta have had one or two of these four mutations, but it's rare. A variant nicknamed Delta Plus has one of them. It's found in less than 1% of sequenced cases. At the moment, we've seen that the vaccines are still working with the Delta variant, right? I, in, I was in the hospital working the other day and it, Everybody that I admitted to the hospital was not vaccinated. A new CDC study showed the Pfizer vaccine remains 93% effective against hospitalizations from Delta, even though its overall efficacy against infections has dropped to 53%. The researchers in Japan showed that mRNA vaccines tuned to the Delta variant were highly effective against their engineered super virus. And vaccine makers are already working on these updated formulas. Pfizer previously said that clinical trials on them could start as early as this month. But that means the first boosters will likely be the old recipes, not the new ones. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Countries like Israel are already rolling out boosters based on the original recipe, and the early results are promising. Doctors say the best way to prevent the virus from mutating is to get more people vaccinated.